The Seminoles came out strong tonight, getting one goal and holding possession of the ball almost the entire first half. They kept that momentum going into the second half, where they scored five more goals, beating Louisville six to nothing. Lucas was coming in here, and obviously we knew that Louisville were new to the ACC and stuff, and so that they were going to come in hard and not, you know, come in and just rest and know that they were going to lose. They were going to push hard, and so um, getting those two goals were definitely valuable to us, so that we settled down and we could play our football again. I think it puts a lot of pressure on them to. Um, know that we can, we can attack, and we can. We're good at keeping the ball, so it kind of puts them in a position where they don't. They're not really sure how to defend, and that's always trouble. When you have the ball, you have to do a whole lot more chasing, and uh, you know I think that uh, our guys, uh, our kids, did a very good job of uh, keeping the ball and had good angles and good spacing, good distances, and uh, uh, were able to move the ball pretty well. They're new to the ACC, so putting them under pressure would make them force it. We knew that they would play long and stuff. Um, so yeah, it was just when we pressed hard, we, we knew we could win the ball back higher up the field and then we could play our football in their third. In the locker room, we kind of talked about making sure we came out um, with the same, kind of the same momentum that we had in the beginning of the game. Um, so that was really important to make sure that we put some in early, just to make sure we kept the momentum going. When you get into this ACC schedule, uh, if you're just trying to ride 11 players through the whole schedule, it's going to be pretty tough. So. Uh, fortunately, uh, you know, we, we've um, got a lot of quality in the team and I thought that showed. We try to um, come out the same way every game, no matter like who the opponent is, but it's always nice to have a higher level of competition and I'm sure we'll come out prepared. We'll deal with Louisville tomorrow and then we'll leave that uh, behind and then we'll turn our, our attention to Virginia and, uh, you know, everybody knows Virginia is a good team and uh, we look forward to the game and it, it should be a beautiful soccer playing uh, a game with two very good possession oriented teams. The Seminoles take the field again on Sunday here at home where they'll play number two, Virginia. Stick with Seminoles.com for all of your latest soccer news. For now, I'm Brooke Schaefer for Seminoles.com.